hello wonderful people you're welcome to my channel my name is Tessie Okonkwo today I will show you how to draft bustier mm. presents that bustier two different methods so as you can see I've marked all my lines this is my bust point line this is my under bust line and this is my waist line so the first method I'll be showing you is this we are going to take our darts my bust um, span is a uh, 9 divided by 2 I'll be having 4.5 This is 4.5 here. So I'll draw a straight line. So let's get the midpoint of my armhole. This is 9.5. So the half is going to be 4.25. 4.25 is here. So on the on the boss line, you come up, you take half inch up. half inch down okay then let's connect to this point okay Then on the under bus line, to get the curve, to get the curve here, you minus your under bus from your bus circumference. Under bus circumference from your bus circumference. So my under bus circumference is 34. While my bus circumference is 40. 40 minus 34 will have 6 inches left. So I'll be using that 6 inches to create the curve here. The curve here. So 3 inches. For the right hand side three inches for the left hand side that's three inches here three inches here so we are going to divide the three inches i'll be putting one inch on my uh, right left hand side and then my two inch on this other side okay no matter the measurement make sure you are putting one inch this side and then two inch this other side Okay, even if you are having seven inches left, make sure you, you put one inch here and then two point five here. This side must always be one inch. Then the rest of the measurements should be on the right hand side. Okay, so we'll connect to this point. Okay, so we'll connect this one too. So on the okay, you draw a straight line down. Let's assume this is a full blouse, even if it's half blouse or full blouse, you just rule it downward. Okay, then here you come down by half an inch. You take half inch down on your armhole. 
like this okay then i will connect it to okay are you seeing it then you connect here then the half inch you take from here make sure you add it back this side otherwise your armhole will not be complete okay so let's add the half inch here should be our new armhole okay so then let me let's take our measurement my boss is 40 divided by 2 and divide by 4 is 10 inch plus 2 inch seam allowance this is 12 inches here this is also 12 inch and then on my bust under bust my other bust is um 34 which is 8.5 plus the three inches i take here this is 8.5 plus three inches i'll be cutting out from here this is the three inches then plus two inch seam allowance here i'll be doing the same on my waistline so my waist is my hip line okay my waist is um 38 37.5 divided by two i will have 9.25 so this is 9.25 plus 3 inch then seam allowance so I will connect Then let me take my neckline. I'll be using um three inches, three inches width. Four inches depth. Four inches deep, three inches width. So using a sweet hat neck okay so now let's cut I'll be cutting it sorry I've not slanted my shoulder slant my shoulder by one inch Okay, plus half inch seam allowance for the joining. That is all. Then I'll be cutting it. okay this is one of our princess bustier pattern 
then we'll go for the second one the second method so this second method is very simple you just come to your bust um, sorry your armhole not your butt you just come to your armhole and then this midpoint for you now take half inch down okay or you measure your armhole round okay this one is 10 so the midpoint is going to be 5 this is 5 then you come down by half inch so we're using these two lines that is under then you fold before you you get uh you cut make sure that your fabric has like five inch allowance okay add five inch to the highest measurement your highest measurement if it's your bust or your hip line in case if you are using it to draft a, a, a blouse but this is just half length as you can see stop that waistline so then you fold this way Take your bust point, which is 11. You take your under bust, which is 15. Then you draw a line. Then here I'll be taking my my bust pan. Like I said earlier, it was was um nine. That is four point five. This is four point five here. Yeah? So whatever measurement you are taking here on your bust line, you minus one inch from it on your under bust. Okay. So I took four point five here. I'll be taking 3.5 here. So this is 3.5. Can you see that? Then I will connect. I will curve it. So I curved it to the half, um, the 4.5. Then I'll draw straight line here too. Okay, can you see that? Then let's cut. This method is very simple. Just like half an inch to your bust line, you stop. Don't cut it out all. When you get to your bust um, point, half an inch to your bust point, you stop. Then you turn it over again. You connect this to this and this to this. So let's do it. You'll be taking half inch upward. Yes, half inch up, half inch down. Okay. So you connect this to to this line and this other one to this line. Can you see that? Then we will cut. Sorry, before we cut, let me slant my shoulder. <laughs> Don't know why I always forget to slant this shoulder. By one inch. Okay.
then half inch for the joining allowance okay so the half inch you took from here i'm going to i'm going to add it here so this becomes our new shoulder our new armhole sorry not shoulder okay can you see that then let me take my measurement See what I cut from here is 2.5. It's not even up to three inches of this. Uh, my under bus is 2.5. Then my bust is um 10 plus two inch sewing allowance, making it 12. 12. My under bus 8.5. 8.5 plus 2.5 that's 11 plus 2 inch sewing allowance and then this is um, 9.25 my waist is 9.25 plus 2.5 plus two inches exactly so now let me connect my lines okay so now i'll be cutting it out So that's all. Can you see? We still arrive at the same. So this is the second method. Can you see? We still arrive at the same shape. This is another way of cutting princess that. So this is the two princess that's cutting the two patterns we just made. Remember that the first one has a sweetheart neck, while the second one has a V neck. The first one, which is the one on the left hand side, usually has more curve than the second one. If you use the first one, the cup usually come out more curvy, you know, than the first one. The first one is just normal and it's also cute. I usually use it for my gown and um, blouse too sometimes. Hmm? But if I want the cup to portray it very well, I normally use the first one. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also give and leave a comment below for me telling me the one you prefer. Hmm? Thank you all. See you next time. I love you. Bye.